You're watching Pitch Up With The Pates. Join us as we conclude our tour of the Swift Elegance Grande range, finishing with this Elegance Grande 845. Let's start with the lounge area of the Elegance Grande 845. So we have the ultra leather, as we've seen on previous vlogs when we've covered the 835 and the 850. There is the option to have um, the fabric if you're not a fan of the ultra leather. The ultra leather would be really useful if you've got pets or children because it'd be really easy to wipe down it's really quite soft you've got the front chest really big drawers with the concealed drawer as well inside the main drawer you've also got the drawer below so lots of storage one thing to notice is the under seat storage. There's now no longer a handle on there, so you're not gonna catch yourselves on the handle. It's really quite ergonomic in design. And these just pull down bear with me, from the center to access that storage below. And you can also access that through the uh, lockers outside so this van has only just come in it's not yet been prepared that's why there's carpets and other pieces of upholstery bagged up you've got those cream aircraft style lockers above shelved and lots of room in there So no issues with storage. That's actually quite interesting with the front lockers. They've been shortened slightly. And as in some vans that touches the trim, it doesn't in here. They are soft clothes, feel really sturdy. You've got the dimmable spotlights below with the USB points. All of the lighting in this van is customizable using the Swift command control panel it's a really nice light bright space with that front sunroof curtains to the front and you've got the fabric pads to the side windows we've not found an issue in our new Conqueror 580 losing the curtains we were dubious at first, concerned that perhaps we'd miss the curtains, but we don't actually find now that we um, we notice them or notice that they're not there. So we no longer draw the curtains at the front. So it's not been an issue for us. You've got the glasses cabinet to the side of the door there. This particular caravan is fitted with the optional EMP hydraulic leveling. So that's the control panel just there for that. 
two 30 volt sockets, 12 volt, and your sat and your aerial point. Handy storage to the side. That'd be great for our dog lead and harness. Swift command above the door with the Alder central heating control. So this isn't powered up, so we can't demo that. But you've got the underfloor heating in the Elegance, which is only available on these flagship Elegance models. So let's take a look at the kitchen area. It's got a good size L-shaped kitchen. So island style, we've got the extension piece up there just to show the amount of preparation space you've got, which is good. Got the underfixed sink there, which is really premium. Domestic style chrome tap. 230 volt sockets as you'd expect. Got a light in there as well for the kitchen worktop. New Star Microwave, so they've gone plateless now, which is really handy for when you're traveling. Good sized cupboard. So plenty of storage. That's some duct in there for the extractor. Which again is a really good addition to this luxury caravan. Thetford oven grill and then you've got your dual fuel hob at the top and glass cover so really nice light kitchen area lots of storage really love these cutlery drawers in the elegance so these are in the 835, 850 and this 845, all soft clothes as you'd expect. Some great storage under here also. With these drawers, really deep cupboard and drawers there. You've got extra cupboards and drawers, slightly shallower underneath the sink. So as you can see, you can really organize all your utensils and what have you. You've got also this storage fold down, potentially room there for your pans underneath the oven. And then as we spin around on the opposite side, you've got your Dometic fridge feet freezer. Really good size, love the separates. So good size freezer in there. And you've also got storage above with your aerial and your solar controller. And you've also got the storage as well below. So another useful place there, possibly for your shoes. So that is the kitchen area. Really nice place to be. Really like the addition of the extractor. There's some great tech in this caravan. We've got the wireless charging as well in the front of the caravan, which is a good addition. So for you guys who like your gadgets, there's plenty to be looking at with this elegance. Okay. Let's go and have a look at the bedroom area of this open plan designed 845 elegance. So the great thing about the 845, which differs from the 850 and 835 is the open plan design. 
So this is very similar to our Conqueror 580. It's one of the reasons we chose that particular caravan is we like the lack of doors, which can make some caravans feel claustrophobic. It's not too bad in the eight foot wide caravans. However, um, in some of the seven foot six wide caravans, it can feel tight in places, but this really does feel a big open space to be. Um, and that's one of the reasons why perhaps someone would decide to choose this over the 835 with the mid washroom design. The transverse bed in this 845 is also on the opposite side to it, the, perhaps where it would normally be. So the headboard on this is on the off side. Uh, more often than not, you tend to find that the transverse bed, the headboard is on the near side. So it's quite um, unique to see the bed on this side of the caravan. The Coachman Luso 2 also has the bed in this configuration. And although it is only a, a subtle change by flipping the, the direction of the bed, it does make the space feel very different perhaps to other caravans. And it's one of the reasons we really like the Coachman Luso 2 also. Um, it's, a, it's a design that we really favor these open plan caravans. So there's lots of storage in this area. You've got three good size lockers above. They're shelved as well. So they're in that sort of airline style aircraft design with the contours. I'm not sure if that picks up on camera, but they've got a real nice contour to them. And they are soft clothes. There's three of those. You've got the headboard, which is extended into the side bedside tables, which really gives a feeling of space. got storage either side of the bed in the best side tables got USBs and similar on the other side and also the control over there for the electrically operated Hecky roof light which again is great to see on these caravans. So the bed is currently in its extended position and there is still room, although not in abundance, there is still room around the edge of the bed to get around. Really like the window at the foot of the bed. Really feels homely. Got those nets and curtains which is a good good touch here in the in the back. Not so much of an issue in the front of the caravan, not having the curtains on the sides, but in the bedroom that really does make it feel cozy. Media wall, so you can also attach a TV above the window. Probably couldn't go for anything more than perhaps a 22 inch looking at the space that you've got, but you have got power there and also sat and aerial connections and the 12 volt. You've also got speakers above which um, plug into the command system. So you'll be able to play music through the front speakers of the caravan and also through these in the rear with it being a slightly longer caravan. Um, it'll, the sound will feel much better. You've got wardrobes either side of the bed. So this one's a got the Alder Central Eating Reservoir in there. Good space, shelves below. And then if we just spin round onto the other wardrobe. Slightly smaller. You've got stacking area on the shelves. And you've also got the mirrored cabinet within with extra shelving. So only the one rail in the previous wardrobe that we just looked at, but lots of stacking space in there. You've also got the bedside table 
storage with the drawers as we saw on the other side so lots of space to store in this bedroom so this is the final walk round of the elegance grande range from swift we've looked at the 850 previously the 835 and to conclude we have the 845 but this is a very different space from the previous two due to the fact it doesn't have a wall or door in the center so it does feel like a really large van which it obviously is okay then so let's go and have a look at the washroom so this is a end washroom design you've got the ladder heated towel rail in anthracite you've got storage above so you've got two shelves in there you've got shelving behind shelving to the sides of the mirror got the sink storage below We've got some additional storage to the side so yeah definitely enough place places to put your toiletries you obviously have to take everything off the shelving before you traveled but that would be useful when you're actually pitched up on site omnivent above really useful in the washroom particularly when you've had a shower nice large opening hecky roof light got your fly screen in this one and you've got the blind which is good to see there's the 23 conqueror 580 that we looked at previously has got the smaller roof lights and therefore hasn't got the blinds good size shower area it's got those new grey panels that Swift are using on their new caravans. Space there for putting your shower gel. Also got a rail for hanging your wet towels. We also use ours for putting our wet coats. We went away previously to Clumber and Chatsworth over Christmas. Found it really useful. So yeah, good size shower really nice size washroom as you tend to find with these end washroom designs and then you've got the sliding door really smooth in operation storage in the washroom for the table so that's the main table some shelves above not a major issue but obviously you have to carry that through the caravan there's no way in the kitchen area for that to be stored so that's the washroom we've had a look at the bedroom area and the front lounge we've now covered the elegance grande 835 the 850 and finally we've had a look at this 845 in the range this is possibly my favorite design out of the three, just because it's similar to the Conqueror 580 that we have currently. However, as our son gets older, the 835 would probably make more sense having the rear bedroom where we can obviously close off that area and have some privacy or our son can have some privacy from us as he gets older so let us know what you think in the comments below 835 845 or the 850 which would you go for would you choose the luso 2 from coachman over the elegance 845 which has a very similar 
design, layout. They have very similar specifications. I guess it comes down to the individual, whether you prefer Swift products or Coachman. But yeah, this is a really nice, light, bright feeling van. Lots of technology, which is good. It's good to see the addition of new tech, including the wireless charging. That'd be really useful for us and all our gadgets. So yeah, let us know what you think, which would you go for? Okay, so let's take a step outside. So we'll have a look at the exterior of the Elegance Grande 845. As you can see, got a good size front locker. It's one of the benefits of Swift Caravans is having that storage in the front locker area. We use ours and utilize that um, to its maximum benefit. As you'd expect, you've got your Alco ATC trailer control, your Alco hitch head stabilizer on there also. Really good looking caravan. Got the new gray GRP side panels with the Red, new red graphics really sets off the caravan near side under seat storage with your gas point 230 volt socket 12 volt um, power outlet and also aerial point should you want to have a tv in the awning got those fridge vents there showing you've got a full height dometic fridge freezer got the new diamond cut alloy wheels that Swift are using on the new Rangers got the new rear panel with the new LED light clusters so you've got access there for your Thetford cassette toilet You've got your cold water shower point, handy for dogs, muddy boots. That is your uh, water inlet for your onboard water tank. So it's the director tank point. Underbed storage, so the transverse island bed lifts. You also have storage through the outside locker. It's for your extractor outlet there you've also got offside light above your service area storage under that front seat on the offside and that's your inlet for your water for your aqua roll etc the exhaust for the Alder central heating it's a great looking van so that concludes our overview of the Swift Elegance Grande 845 let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.